Hello everyone, I'm Miss Heather from the Tewksbury Public Library and today we are doing our last installment in our cursive series. Today we'll be practicing writing some words. You don't really need too much for this program. You'll need some paper. If it has lines on it, that's great. You'll also need a pencil and mine here has a grip on it and this is a special grip. It has a spot for my thumb in the larger spot, a spot for my pointer in the smaller spot and a place for me to rest my middle finger in the back. So this is a really great tool to use uh, for learning cursive. It's important to have a good grip because then you don't have to really think about that. You can just line your fingers right up on your grip and then uh, just focus on making the letters and practicing that. So get your paper, get your pencil, let's get started. The first word we'll learn today is the word us. So do a cursive U and we'll bring it down and go right into the cursive S, up, around, in, and out. It's like that sailboat. Making the U, sliding up, up, down, and right into the S, in, out. There you have the let word us. Next up, we're writing the word jam. So we'll make our cursive J. A loop and right into the A and right into the M. And then we'll dot our I at the end. You can choose to do a little connection tail at the beginning if you would like to, like I did for this one. Oops, I wrote jam instead. Sometimes it's hard to do two things at the same time. There we go. So you can have a connection tail at the front where you don't have to because it's its own separate word. I usually do include it in the front. jam. Up next we have the word arm. So we'll go right into the A and remember the R up, a small diagonal line, down, and then we'll go right into the M. And we've got the word arm. A R M. A R M. All right. Up next, we've got the word can. C A N. So we do our C right into the A and down and up, down, down for the N. Can. C A N. Our next word is the word may. So we've got M A Y. Looping and out. M A Y. Loops and out. And our word may. Up next, we have the word hand. So our H is a little bit like our um, printed letter H. It has a loop in there. We'll go right into the A, right into the N, and then D slides up and slides back down. And we have the word hand in cursive. H, A, N, D. H, A, N, D. All right, moving right along, we have the word name next, N-A-M-E, and so we'll get our N, A, M, N, E. It's the word name, and you'll notice that we don't pick up our pencil between writing the letters. We just slide right into the next one, N, 
A M E. So this will help us to write faster when we don't have to pick up our pencil between the words. And we're zooming right on to the word an, A-N. So that's just an A and an N. word we'll do is the word use. So remember we did us before and now we'll just add an e on the end. U S E U S E U sailboat S and around for the E. Next word we'll do is the word free, and we'll make our letter F. Remember this one has a loop on the top and a loop on the bottom. Kind of starts out similar to the letter H. Loop top, loop bottom, in, and then we're going to come out for the R. Go up, make that small diagonal line, in and around and out. Now we'll go to the E. E. And another loop for the E, and we are done. That's the word free. F loop up, F loop down, in, and then we'll go R, E, E. F, R, E, E. And now it's time for a new word. The word itself is the word new. And that's N E W. Remember the W finishes out the top there. N E W out. This word is the word happy. It's H A. P P Y Happy H A P Happy Alright, next word is the word on. So we have the O and the N. The O, N. Remember the O comes out the top, so then you can really easily go right into the N. O, N. Alright. The last word for this page is the word boy, B-O-Y. So we have our B, our O, and our Y. B goes in, out, over to make the O, and loops in, and goes over to make the Y, and in and out. B, over. Over. And one more. B O Y. First word on our new page will be the word win. So we have our W over to make the I and then down and then right into the N for the word win. And then we dot it at the end. So we did W. We went over down, connect into our N, dot it, and we've got the word win. All right, the next word is the word our, O-U-R.
and we get the O and it goes right into the U and then it makes the R. All right, next up is the word dig, D-I-G. So we'll make our D, I, and then I'll make our G with that loop, and then we'll dot it. D, I, G, and a dot. The next word is the word voice, V-O-I-C-E. So I'll make our V, and then we'll go over for the O, and then we'll go right into the I, down, into the C, and then the E. Voice, V-O-I-C-E, voice. Our next word is the word we, W-E. So we've got W, and then it's right into the letter E. W, E. All right, the next word is was, W-A-S. word is oven and that's O V E N and the next word we'll do is very so we'll take that V and E from in there so V E and then we'll put an R and a Y. And the next word is the word brown. So we'll make our B goes in, out, right into the R, and then the O into the W, into the N, brown. B, a small line for the R, into the O, into the W, into the N. Next word is the word it, I, T. And you'll notice I put my line on my T first, and then I dot my I, so I go backwards. Next word is elf. E L F. Lots of loops in this word, so it's important to make sure that your letters look different. So you have your E, and then the L is a skinny, and then the F has a loop, and it loops back in, and then it comes out. E L F. So this is one to really pay attention to how you're making your letters because you want someone to be able to read this word. All right. Next up is the word little. L I T T L E. And another
another one to make sure that you're really forming your letters well on. And then I dot, or cross the T's, T, T, then I dot the I. That's how I was taught when I was in school to go backwards, to put on those dots and lines. Alright, the next word is school. Let's get our sailboat S, C, looping H, O, O, L, school. S, C, H, O, O, L, school. All right, the last word for this page is the word full, which is funny because our page is full. So we've got our F, loop, loop, in and out into the U, and then we'll make our L, L. F, U, L, L. It is easy with the F. To not meet that loop back in the middle but it is important to do that because it makes it a little bit more distinct that it is an F. So now we have one more sheet filled up with words. If you get a new sheet of paper or turn your sheet over we have just a few more left. Not too too many here. And let's jump right on in to the word good. And we've got G O, O, D. O, O, D. And just remember those O's connect from the top there. All right. Next up, we've got the word kitchen. And that we'll make with our K loop, loop in, out, up to the I, up to the T, C, looping H, E, N, and N, line, and dot, K, I, T, C, H, E, N. Alright, I guess I can only fit two kitchens, which is okay. My next word is magic. M-A-G-I-C. Then my dot. Alright. The next word we're we'll do today is the word puppet. So we'll make our P and then into the U and then our next P and then an E and then a T. Remember the P's have a loop. Just making sure that that line is connecting there, which will make it easier for people to read. The next word is quiet. Q-U-I-E-T. Q-U-I-E-T. Next word is rejoice. So we'll make an R, E, J has a loop, O connects at the top, I, C, E, 
And then the I and the J's get their dots. Next word is terrific. I think we've all been doing a terrific job. T E R R I F I C I I T. I think we can fit one more. It's important to practice writing as many different words as you can. You definitely want to make sure you practice writing your name. And our next word is xylophone. X Y L O P H O N E. And you'll notice that I did not put the other diagonal line to the X. I just made the first part of the X and then I kept going right into my Y. So now I'll come back and I'll put the line in my X. So again, xylophone. X, Y, L, O, P, H, O, N, E. And then I put my diagonal line through for xylophone. All right. The next word is yellow. Y E L L O W. Remember to try to make your E's and L's look different. My E is a little bit shorter and more rounded, whereas my L's are a little taller and skinnier. And both the O and the W connect out the top. All right. We are on to our last word. It's the word zebra. Z-E-B-R-A. the Z looks kind of like a three and then we've got the E and the B R A and so by practicing writing your name in cursive you're actually practicing signing your name so next time anyone asks you to sign your name on something you should write it in cursive that's your signature and that is what you'll be using pretty much for the rest of your life for a lot of really important paperwork and th different things like that. If you're ever giving an autograph, you want to make sure that you practice your cursive handwriting so that you have a really cool signature. Thank you for watching and learning with the Tewksbury Public Library today. I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope that you will join us again for some of our future programs that we do here um, on YouTube. Thank you again for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.